Hi everyone, in this video we will be deriving normal equation for linear regression. Let's say we have m training examples in our data set. And let's say the true values for those m training examples are y1 to ym and we denote this vector of y's by capital Y. And let's say we want to predict the weights w1, w2 up to w capital N and we denote this vector with capital W and we are assuming capital N weights because we are assuming that we have capital N feature vectors and those feature vectors are stored in capital X matrix in such a way that the first row contains the feature vectors for the first example second row contains the capital N features for the second example and the mth row contains the feature vectors for the mth training example and we have capital N such feature vectors. So with the blue color I am showing which training example this corresponds to and with the white color it represents which feature vector we are referring to. So we can clearly see that the error of our prediction model would be y1 minus x11 w1 plus x21 w2 plus and so on up to x n1 wn so this would be the error for first training example similarly for the second it would be y2 minus x12 w1 up to xn2 wn and so on for the m training example we would have the following error in our prediction Thus we get the following error matrix and we can see that this error matrix is nothing but equals to y minus x w in matrix notation. Let's say the errors corresponding to m training examples are e1, e2, em and the total loss that we want to minimize is e1 square plus e2 square up to em square. Let's denote this loss by capital L. Now we can clearly see that L can be read written in the form of y minus x transpose into y minus x w because we can see that once we transpose the error vector and multiply by itself we get e1 square plus e2 square up to em square and we want to minimize the squared error losses we will write this expression in form of matrix multiplications as follows to derive this, we use the following formula that a plus b transpose is a transpose plus b transpose and a into b transpose is b transpose a transpose. So now, to minimize this loss function, we need to take the derivative of this loss function with respect to our vector w. And we know that all of these four terms in the loss function are not vectors anymore, but they are one dimensional expressions. And to find the derivative of one dimensional expressions with a vector w, we need to understand what is a vector derivative. And we represent that using a triangle sign and call it a gradient. And it is nothing but the derivative of the loss function with w1, derivative of loss function with w2, and derivative of loss function wn. We create a vector like that and we call it as a gradient of loss function with w. We put it equal to zero to get the values w1 to wn. To calculate the derivative, we need to first know the formula of calculating the derivative of w transpose x with respect to w or the derivative of x transpose w with respect to w. Both are the same things. Let me not call them x and let me call them a. w transpose a is nothing but equals to w1 a1 plus w2 a2 plus up to w n a n. And to take the derivative of this with respect to w, we will take the derivative with respect to individual comp components that is w1, w2 up to wn and then we form the following vector and you can see that derivative with respect to w1 of the above expression is nothing but a1 and hence we get the vector a thus we get the following formula. We can see that the y transpose y is a constant term and derivative of that would be equals to zero. Now for y transpose x w, we can write it, it in the form of x transpose y whole transpose w. 
and then we can use the formula that gradient of a transpose w with respect to w is nothing but a so the gradient of x transpose y whole transpose w would be nothing but x transpose y now we have to find the derivative of w transpose x transpose y with respect to w and we'll use the following formula that derivative of w transpose a with respect to w is nothing but a now this one is little bit trickier for this to calculate the derivative of the following expression we will use the product rule so derivative of uv is nothing but derivative of u into v so basically we first take the derivative with our first variable and assume everything else is constant then we take the derivative with respect to second variable and assume that everything else is constant we'll use the same approach to find the derivative of the following expression so here we'll assume that x transpose x w is constant and calculate the derivative with respect to first w and we will use the formula that derivative of w transpose a is nothing but a so derivative with respect to first w is nothing but x transpose x w now we will assume that w transpose x transpose x is a constant and we will calculate the derivative with respect to the second w and to calculate the derivative with respect to second w we will use this formula that derivative of a transpose w is a so derivative of with respect to second w would be nothing but transpose of w transpose x transpose x because we'll assume that w transpose x transpose x is a transpose and the derivative is not a transpose but it's a when we are taking the derivative of a transpose w with respect to w so an extra transpose comes from there and we put it equal to 0 to find the value of w so this is nothing but minus 2 times x transpose y plus x transpose xw plus x transpose xw equals to 0 using ab transpose equal to b transpose a transpose which implies minus 2 times x transpose xw is equal to 2 times x transpose y which implies x transpose xw is equal to x transpose y which implies w equals to x transpose x inverse x transpose y hence we derive the expression for the normal equation for linear regression I hope you like this video thank you and see you in next video